Today I'm opening old school, original print Magic Ruler blisters. What's up guys, we're back with another video where we are opening some Yu-Gi-Oh! old school packs and these are Magic Ruler original print blisters and there's only five here. So of course I grabbed some extra packs. I've seen some comments where people are like, I don't like where you do extra packs. Well, I mean, we don't want it to be a short video. And secondly, today's extra packs, I think you will like because they are also old school. They are Labyrinth of Nightmare, Legacy of Darkness, Dark Crisis, Spell Ruler. These are actually 2010, I think, or maybe, wait, no, no, we can tell, we can tell. Let's look at the bottom. Uh, I don't see a name, which means I think that's 2010. Uh, or it could be 13, maybe didn't as well. Ah, now I gotta figure out. I gotta go watch my own video. Six plus years, I think, means maybe 2013. So these are at at early or at latest, not latest. Yeah, 2013. There we go. And then Rise of Destiny. So we have a lot of cool extra packs today for you, you people who don't like the extra packs, but you know. It's gonna be a fun opening either way. But before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three Magic Ruler original print cards. I think they're all Magic Ruler, right? Yeah, they are. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below what's your favorite card from Magic Ruler, and will we pull something big today, it, whether it be from the random extra packs or from the blisters? Let's get started. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna increment, you know, the the blisters in a few at a time. Let's not do them all at once. So let's start off with. We'll have our packs right here. Uh, let's start off with a spell ruler because it's the newest pack. The rest of them are pretty old at this point. They're all almost 20 years old if they aren't 20 years old. Here we go. Spell ruler. Uh, I don't know the pack trick because this is 2013. So wait, it should be this, I think, if it's 2013. Let's try that. We have mechanical snail. We have Snake Fang. This is all old school Yu-Gi-Oh stuff today. So if you if you like old school vintage openings, let me know down below because a lot of the vintage openings recently have actually not done that good on the channel. So if you want to see more of them, make sure to let me know because these are obviously not the cheapest ones we do. So just making sure you guys still like vintage and stuff. We have a uh, House of Adhesive Tape, Luminous Spark, Chorus of Sanctuary, The Electric Snake, Giant Germ, and... Oh, it started off hot with the Relinquished. The very first pack. I said, maybe, uh, will we get anything good today? Uh, if you haven't answered in the comments, now's your time. We have already gotten something good. Relinquished. Sorry, guys. I got a little excited there right off the bat. I was not expecting to pull the best card probably from Spell Lord besides the Blue Eyes Tune right off the bat. All right. What a start. Oh, my goodness. Maybe that's a sign for our uh, the rest of our opening of Magic Ruler Blisters. So I don't know. Okay, so I have... Oh, so we should do one about every four to five packs. We should open a blister. Uh, let's do Legacy of Darkness next. What? That's a great start. That, we are off to a good start. Legacy Week GX was awesome last week, and maybe that has really just flowed into this week. We have Ready for Intercepting, Nutrient Z, We're a Digrapher, Dragon Dwelling in the Cave, Ooh, Bark of Dark Ruler, Winged Minion, Burst Breath. Can we get a Secret Rare, Frontier Wiseman, and... <laughs> no, but we can't get the Super Rare Twin-Headed Behemoth, the once per dual effect very epic so super rare we are two for two to start now, that was not expected we are off to a very hot start starting two for two with old school packs is not easy let's do a rise of destiny next by the way somebody bought a rise of destiny box off ruxton 34com well technically they they did it but you know they have them available on ruxton 34com but they bought it through one of my mods they pulled an ulti creator so that was pretty cool i was like man that is a pretty awesome pull Four from the back, we have Pitch, Pitch Black Warwolf. It was first dead, too. Uh, Harvey Lady One, Astral Barrier, Muddy Guard, Mirage Knight, Rock from the Valley of Haze, Harvey Girl, and oh, an ultimate rare Fusilor Dragon, the dual mode beast. Okay. I did not realize at first that this was an ulti. Check that out. Oh my goodness. I saw a challenge in the comments. Go a video without mentioning the new angle. Well, I just ruined it. I just lost the challenge, but uh, yeah, I can't do it. Uh, <laughs> if you're still dragging the dual mode beast, that is okay. If you hold it like this, it's very dark. You hold it like that. Nice and shiny. That's a really cool ulti. Very nostalgic on that card. Pretty cool that you can summon it without tributing or you can tribute it. It's kind of a kind of a fun effect there. I just knocked over the blisters. Man, that is, we are three for three with an ulti. This is a really good start. Let's try Dark, dark Crisis. I mean, everything else has pulled something. Can you pull something, Dark Crisis? Uh, Exodia Necros, dare we ask? Uh, at this point, I, I have high hopes. I feel like we can do anything. The Nintendogs right at the front. I'm shaking the camera. Sorry about that. Three? Why does this feel like... I don't know. I'm just going to do three. It feels like it's warped. So maybe, maybe it's a foil. Dark Scorpion. We have Zolga. Drag down to the grave. Nintendogs. A Gyaki Guy or Panda. Dark Scorpion, Manet the Thorn. Arsenal Robber. Could be here. 
Uh, there's a rare and okay, nothing. So we, we whiffed under our crisis. So we finally missed something. We're a little warped on there. Let's go to our first blister pack. Probably should not open these to be honest, but they are, I mean, they got a little wave to them. Look guys, I can't help myself. I just got to do it. Let's try to get, I'm guessing there's no blue eyes tune in here. Uh, I think retail, it has to be serpent knight. So if we get a blue eyes tune, something weird is going on. All right. I'm going to, uh, I, I hate destroying these blisters. It's not like I'm really going to keep them anyway, probably. Uh, man, they do look really nice though. Check out that relinquish back there. I just wish they had kept doing this. They stopped at some point. I don't know why, because this is like the most awesome product they made besides maybe the tins with just the giant monster, the really cool colors on. I mean, they picked great colors for all the different sets. I'm a fan of how they did it. Yeah, sealed blisters, that's a good choice of, of a collection. The problem is it's always scary. Like you, you don't know if they're going to stay together or not. Uh, that's why you want to get a really minty one. Okay, magic ruler, original print. Can we get relinquished i guess i don't know some of the tunes there's some great options darkness approaches we have october sir the october sir hungry burger speaking of commencement dance dark witch crab turtle snake fang the peacock yeah who's gonna watch peacock yeah not many people and oh mahavilo that is a classic card mahavilo gonna use that axe of despair get that massive 1500 boost yeah he becomes 30 50 and that's pretty tough to deal with this card feels a little it's got a weird warping to it okay but still i mean we are now four for five like <laughs> four for five what a crazy start to this opening. I, I mean, we really cannot do much better than this, but I'm going to attempt to. I'm going to attempt to do a little better than this. We'll do, we got to do Spell Ruler after this, but that's okay. Dark Crisis, four out of five pulls. I mean, you don't see that very often on old school. Are you guys seeing this? Are these cards faded? Do not cut, editor. Do not cut before that. Just so we can show. The back of the cards are faded. They look fake. But they just don't have ink. We pulled a faded card, but not the front. Man, that would have been crazy if the front was like that. Ready for intercept. That is wild. We'll compare them at the end. Ready for intercepting nutrient Z. Let's do no cuts right there on that on that one. Where did I grab for? We have Odahime. Let's just get let's just get to there so we can check them out. Robo Lady and Roll the Pressure. That's a great card. Check this out. I mean, you guys saw it. That is insane. So let's just take two of them. Completely normal on the front, faded on the back. Literally, they look fake. That's crazy. And they're definitely not. I can tell by the way you. Uh, they feel, but look at that. They got some little pinholes on them. That's crazy. That's like pulling a faded Metal Raiders card, except not as cool, but that is really wild. Has anyone ever seen this before? If you've seen this, let me know in the comments. I'm going to have to ask uh, some people, but LOD too. That is so cool. That is so cool. Okay, we got to... That's pretty wild. I'm gonna have to set those commons aside. Pulled out of a pack. We have the video and everything. All right, so now I'm interested on this other legacy. Oh, these are mixed up. These other legacy of darkness packs. Wait, did the other ones, any of those? No, that, that's just, uh, what set is that? That's just Rise of Destiny. Okay, they just look a little different, but whoa, those were so different. That was crazy. All right, that was pretty sick. That was unexpected. Really cool. If we ever pull a full fate, like front faded card, that's gonna be awesome. I'm excited for that to happen at some point. I hope it can. Uh, so we can see, because has anyone ever actually pulled a faded Metal Raiders card out of a pack? Surely they have by now, right? I don't know. I've, I've never done it. Okay, High Tide Gyojin. I've, well, we've pulled slightly faded. I mean, like, max faded, I guess, because we have pulled slightly faded. Igaboon. We have uh, Penguin Knight, Taylor of the Fickle, Queen Bird, Turtle Oath, Minar. Giant Rat, last time we got a Relinquish. What will we get this time? Psychic Kappa. Okay, we are cooling down a little bit. Insert, I mean, we got faded cards. That was pretty cool. Uh, let's try Rise of Destiny. Last time we got an ultimate rare. So, you know, we got high hopes here. We got high hopes for this video. This has been a great opening so far. Like, unexpected errors. We've had ultimate rares. We've had, ult like, the best card in Spell Ruler. Moki Moki Rocks Special. We have Element Magician. Let's pull another ulti. Why not? Nine Haxorks. IRB Girl. And Sasuke Samurai number four. So nothing that time. All right. What have we not opened? Dark Crisis? Yeah, you're, the like, the only one who hasn't hit a foil besides Labyrinth of Nightmare. And Labyrinth of Nightmare hasn't been opened yet, so... Yeah, not possible to fit a foil. One, two, three, four. We have the checkmate. Final attack orders. A guardian Elma. Twin Swords of Flashing Light. Kelbeck. Battle Scarred. We have Despair from the Dark. Acrobat Monkey. And... Oh, 
the secret rare judgment of Anubis. Oh my goodness, what an opening. What is happening right now? The back of this thing is clean. Okay, that's a nice card. Centering is not good. This is a very cheap card because, uh, you know, just Dark Crisis is not a great card, but it is a really awesome. This is a nostalgic card. I mean, check it out. Classic. It looks really good, too. Definitely fits the Pharaoh vibe, which is awesome. So let's go back to our... I mean, what an opening we've had so far. It's been pretty crazy. This one's basically open already. This was a little sun faded, I feel like. The pack itself, maybe not. I don't know. Okay, what an opening so far. Secret rare, ultimate rare. Faded commons out of the pack. That's pretty crazy. Okay, four from the back. Here we go. Hungry Burger. This is a little warped. Maybe that means there's something inside. Commencement Dance. Middle Fish. Horn of Light. Magical Labyrinth. I would love a Serpent Knight Dragon. I would love a Toon Summon Skull, Toon Mermaid. Any of that stuff would be great. Axe of Despair to go with our Maha Bailo. Malevolent Nuzzler and the Karate Man. Yeah. No, he is not the Chop Man. He is Karate Man. Okay. Spell Ruler. Keep it up. Flippity flop, floppity flip. We have the Whiptail Crow. Gravekeeper's Servant. Psychic Kappa. Turtle Oath. Course of Sanctuary. Final Destiny, Molt Destruction, Cyberjar, and give us the perfect card, Jigged Buckadod. That is not what we were looking for. I don't know what voice I just turned into, but it was kind of cool. All right, Legacy of Darkness up next. Uh, will we pull more faded commons? That's the question. Now's the moment to find out. That was pretty cool. Now to give us like a faded lily, that would be, that'd be big. Faded lily can't happen because I had one for a while. I sold it way too cheap. Again, again, faded cards. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. 107 weapons, Lizard Soldier, that's so weird. So, I mean, there's four cards, because usually it's four commons, four commons between the rares, and they're probably off different, like, print sheets or whatever. So it makes sense that all four of those are faded. Burst Breath, Frontier Wiseman, we have Possessed Dark Soul, and Second Coin Toss. I don't even care, because four more faded cards out of a pack. That's so cool. Okay, regular cards. Don't care about you as much, uh, but still really awesome. Wow, this is amazing. Uh, I need to be opening more Magic Ruler. Let's do this Dark Crisis real quick. Let's see about this Dark Crisis. Can we pull something crazy? Man, this has been an epic opening. Epic is is the perfect word for this. Four from the back. Ojama Green. Green for Magic Ruler. Token Thanksgiving. Not even close to Thanksgiving, buddy. Uh, morale Booster. Dark Scorpion Chick. The Yellow. Agito. Agito. Kelbeck. Battle scarred. We have the Ackerman Monkey and Guardian Trace. That's okay. We got a secret rare last time. Can't complain. Back to. Okay. Yeah, these are kind of unsealed. That's fine. Perfect. Perfect for opening. If you guys are enjoying the old school opening, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let me know down below that you enjoy old school openings that you want to see more. So that way I know that you guys like it. All right. Magic Ruler. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Third blister of the opening. We have the little brother. Labyrinth Wall, Liquid Beast, Ryuran, Crab Turtle, Snake Fang, Peacock, who's watching that? Not me. Actually, technically, I do have a subscription. Griggle and Giant Rat. Unfortunately, I do. Okay, Griggle, Giant Rat. Yeah, not great there. Let's go back to, well, see, we have five, seven packs left. So let's open a couple of these. Spell Ruler. We'll open the last one of those. Still haven't opened LO in yet. Here we go. Spell Ruler 4 and Flippity Flop was correct. So I think this is a 13 pack. Labyrinth Wall, Rising Air Current, Commencement Dance, Red Archery Girl, Weather Report, Dark Zebra, Gaia Power, Flying Kamikiri number one, and a Luminous Spark. We definitely cooled down to the beginning, but the beginning was so insane that it makes sense. Let's do a Dark Crisis next. Save that Legacy of Darkness for those faded cards later. What else can we pull? Four from the back. We have final attack orders. Twin Swords of Flashing Light. Gravity Axe Girl. The Nintendox. Contract with Exodia. Scar Scorpion Manet the Thorn. Arsenal Robber. And Fear from the Dark. All right, we got a secret. We can't complain about Dark Crisis. Let's go back to Magic Ruler. Let's see if we can pull something else. This is, they open <laughs> nice and easy for me. They were falling apart. Magic Ruler, can we pull something epic, old school, awesome, ultra, secret, four from the back. Let's do it right here. Magic Ruler Blister 2002, Hungry Burglar, Commencement Dance, The Metal Fish, Razor Sharp Coddle Fin, Darth Maul Awaiting Orders, Penguin Knight, Eat Kaboon, Queen Bird, Gravekeeper Servant, and ooh, a painful choice. It was a painful choice to open these up, except for the fact that they were already kind of open, so it made it a little bit easier. Painful choice, crazy good card back in the day. 
That is all. Probably would still be good now. So uh, really not back in the day. Let's open this Labyrinth of Nightmare pack. We've not opened any Labyrinth of Nightmare in this video just yet, but right here is where we turn that around. We pull something amazing like Dark Necro Fear. It's been a while since we pulled that. Oh, this is one of the Tactical Evolution packs. Yeah, this thing is. Look how nasty these cards are. That's how you know it's a Tactical Evolution pack. Uh, the Rock Spirit. Here we go. Flame Dancer, Fire Sorcerer. Let's pull a Ghost Rare, slimy version. Biomage, Grave Robbers, Retribution, Gadget Soldier, Earthbound Spirit, Fairy Guardian, and a Fire Princess. What did I say to pull? Did I say Ghost Rare? I was thinking Tactical Evolution. There's no, there's no Ghost Rare, but we did get a Super Rare Fire Princess. There's no Ghost Rare in, uh, unfortunately, in Labyrinth of Nightmare, but yeah, uh, I lost that a little bit. Fire Princess, we got a foil out of the slimy pack. They feel disgusting, but guess what? I still want a foil. Three packs left. Labyrinth of Nightmare, will you have weird faded commons is the question. That is the question we need to know. Not this time, it looks like. Regular old commons. But we weren't actually pulling anything out of those faded commons, so maybe we'll actually get something. Robo Yard, we have Fiend Comedian. Wolf Axe Wielder, Secrets of the Bandit, Heart of Clear Water, Ominous Fortune Telling, Mysterious Guard, I have a hiccup that I'm fighting back, Stamming Destruction, and Dark Ruler, Hot Dance, and look at this card, look at the name, there's like a dash through it, can you see that? Look at that, there's a dash all the way through the name, it starts there, it's like a big long, it's not really a scratch, it's just like a dash. That is crazy. What weird printing we have found in Legacy of Darkness today. That is so strange, but also awesome. Dark Ruler Hades. We'll take it. That's really cool. I still remember Dark Ruler Hades is the only good card we pulled from Moist Critical, and we opened a million packs, so that was that was bad. Okay, Rise of Destiny. Last pack, then we go to Magic Ruler. Oh, wow, what an opening we have had today. It's been incredible. We have had a lot of good pulls. Like every set almost has had a good pull. We have Astral Bear. I think every set actually, because we got the LON uh, Fire Princess, Invasion of Flames. Let's get another ulti right here. Mine Axe Orcs. We have a Harpy Girl. Okay, back to square one and Fuseler Dragon. It ended perfectly with the rare to represent the ulti, giving us one more blister pack. We just kind of go like this. And this thing will be ready to pop open. All right. Last pack of the video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the old school video. If you have, make sure to subscribe to the channel. A lot of awesome packs open today. A lot will be open in the future. Let me know what else you want to see in the comments. What kind of content do you want to see on the channel going forward? Uh, looking into potentially maybe some new content at some point. Who knows? Maybe we'll do some sort of dueling content. I don't know. I've been considering doing that because I had fun doing, you know, recording some videos of that recently. And I was like, you know what? It'd be fun to do that on the channel. So if that's something you want to see, let me know in the comments and I'll consider doing it. Four from the back. We have Weather Report, Upstar Goblin, and don't forget to check out Ruxin34.com to support the channel. Ceremonial Bell, Koto Dama, Final Destiny, Penguin Knight, Eat Gaboon, Queen Bird, and our final card of the opening so far. It's been amazing. Can we end it on another banger? All right, Shining Angel. Just a Shining Angel this time, but with how many good pulls we had in that video, we can't complain. Shout out to Toll Info Show, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Chaney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F. Cheng Lang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.